You know, it's funny, through life, I would always sit and wander and think about the hopes for my kids. One of the number one things I've thought about was I would hope that they would find true love and happiness like me and Kim have. I've known Alex for a while now, for probably the last three years. I've watched him. I watch how he looks at my daughter. I watch how he treats my daughter. And believe me, when I tell you I watch, I watch. <laughs> but I can honestly say that when I look at Alex and I watch him look at Chloe and the way he treats her, it's real similar to the way I look at Kim every day and the way I treat Kim. He's a hardworking kid. I'd rephrase that. He's a hardworking man and he loves my daughter. In my view, what more could you ask for in a son-in-law? All right. Okay. You ready, Shuggy Shuggy? I think. All right. Dear Chloe Jean, today we become one. Today we become a family. I am so proud of the beautiful, loving, and caring person that you've become. The past five years or so have been the most amazing time of my life. Over this time, we went from kids to adults with a house and a handsome puppy. I'm truly honored that you have chose me to be your husband for the rest of our lives. I love you with all my heart and then some. Alex, I can't wait for you to see me walk down the aisle in the dress that I finally chose after trying on so many. In the tux you're wearing, you probably look so handsome standing in and at the end of the aisle waiting for me. I have thought about this day since I fell in love with you. Between our good times and our bad times, we still came out on top and it was only for the best because after today I will get to call you my husband. Over the course of our life, we will cry, be mad, and happy. No matter good or bad, just remember, I'll be your biggest support system. I love you. So with this, I can promise you that I am yours. Today is the first day of the rest of our lives together, and the best times are yet to come. The best memories are yet to be made, and I cannot wait for it to be with you. I love you, your wife. <laughs> God, I love you. I love you. Oh, sweetheart, you're so beautiful. Like your mother. I I'm so you. proud of you, sissy. Thank you, daddy. To take this opportunity to welcome everyone to Chloe and Alex's joyous day. And the first thing I would like us to do is pray. Father, thank you for your presence here as you were at the very first marriage. I pray that you would bless these proceedings, especially the pledges and the vows. And I pray that you would enlist all the people here to help these guys in any and every way they can. Well, Chloe, a few years ago I wrote you a note but I didn't think you knew that would one day be our wedding vows. Once in a lifetime, you meet someone who changed your life forever. A person that you couldn't imagine living a day without. A person that turns you from a boy into a man. A person that makes you want to consistently better yourself for them. I found that person with you. I love you so much, Chloe Jean. I can't express how grateful I am to have you in my life. I was a man lost on a road heading nowhere good, but I found my way when I met you. I can't imagine spending another day without you by my side. I love you with all my heart. In front of our friends, family, and God, I promise you this, my loyalty, my respect, my everlasting devotion, and my unconditional love. I promise to pray with you, dream with you, laugh with you, cry with you, build with you, and grow with you. I vow to help you live your life 
to have the patience our love demands, and to speak when words are needed, and share the silence when they're not. I vow to love you in all your forms and never forget that this is a once in a lifetime love. There are things in this world I can't control, but there are some things I can't promise you. I promise to be loyal to you and only to you. I promise to be the same loving guy you met from day one. I promise to always better myself so one day I can provide for us and our family. I promise to always have your back no matter the circumstances. I love you so much, Chloe Jean. Thank you for being the person that saved me. I choose you today, and from here on out, I will do my best to make you happy, feel loved, encouraged, be your protector, friend, and family. With this ring, I give you my whole heart, and I promise this day forward, you shall never walk alone. Now, by the authority given me by Jesus Christ and the state, I pronounce you husband and wife. Why don't you kiss? It is my distinct privilege to present to you a new couple in Christ Jesus, Alex and Chloe Heggie. You were the first thing that ever posed as a threat to our friendship. But obviously it was the best thing possible. Let me tell you something about Alex. He has always had eyes for Chloe, and only Chloe. If you want to try and measure how much a man loves a woman, just look at how he treats her best friend and her family. Alex has been nothing but perfect for Chloe since day one. He quickly showed me I could trust him to love her and protect her the way that I had. Alex, I'm immensely grateful for the happiness that you have brought into my sister's life. As a brother to a sister, you hope that one day she will find someone to share her life with and that will recognize her beauty and worth at the same extent that I have. I know that she has found that in you. I'm proud to call you a brother and I love you and welcome to the zoo. And Chloe, I have written these words so many times in hopes that they express just how truly and much I love you. You're my greatest friend and supporter are resilient, strong, and loving, but above all, you are as beautiful on the inside as you are on the out, which is pretty damn beautiful, and I think everybody else will agree here. I'm so proud to be your brother. I feel immense happiness as I watch you marry the man of your dreams and start your new life as Miss Peggy. And to that, I propose a toast to the incredible bride and groom who deserve everything in the world and more. I love you both so much. To wrap this up, we are a little weird, and life's a little weird, when we find someone whose weirdness is compatible to ours, we join up with them, fall in mutual weirdness and call it love. I'm sure you're glad my weirdness is compatible to yours. I love you. <laughs>